That was a save. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Welcome to today's video, frick. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Juliana, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you are, please subscribe or don't, it doesn't really matter. Today's video is highly requested. I'm gonna be talking about cloth diapers. I wanted to wait to make this video because I've been cloth diapering my toddler for about a year-ish. I might be overshooting that by a little bit, but I've been cloth diapering her for a long time, and I just recently had a newborn. I had a baby three months ago, and so I wanted to get the experience cloth diapering a toddler as well as a newborn so I can kind of give you a full spectrum of how that goes. This is not going to be the most holy grail informational video on cloth diapers because I have only actually tried one type of cloth diapers. There's so many different types of cloth diapers. Did a lot of research beforehand, which I highly recommend. And if you're watching this video, you are clearly already doing. And I decided that pocket diapers are the diaper for my lifestyle personally. So I'm gonna be talking about cloth diapering with pocket diapers today. I actually have an entire list on my phone of things that I want to talk about in this video. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is how I got into cloth diapering because I was someone who never even considered it when I got pregnant. I did not look into it. I immediately jumped to, ew, poop, and I decided not to cloth diaper, which was a huge mistake because I can honestly say cloth diapering has been one of my best financial decisions since having children that I've probably ever made. I am saving so much money cloth diapering and I just wanna shout it from the rooftops that you guys should at least consider cloth diapering part of the time, which a lot of people in these cloth diapering videos are very all or nothing. You're either wearing disposable diapers or your kids are wearing disposable diapers or you are cloth diapering. All right, everyone, you might have noticed an outfit change. Uh, I have kids they pulled me away from this video and I'm finally finishing it now like a week later so back to what I was saying when I got into cloth diapering I did not go into it like throw away all my disposables and switch directly to cloth diapers it does not have to be an all-or-nothing overnight decision in fact when I got started with cloth diapers I started with a pack of about six diapers which is not enough diapers to exclusively cloth diaper so once those diapers were dirty I switched back to disposables and I saved six diapers from a landfill and saved myself from spending money on replacing six diapers over and over and over again. And then I kind of just did it that way for a while. I didn't go out and buy 20 or so cloth diapers not knowing whether or not I was going to like it and whether or not it was going to work for my lifestyle. And so I just started small and kind of tested the waters and saw if it was for me and that is something I highly suggest doing. Now as I said before, the main thing that was keeping me away from cloth diapering in the first place was my feet of touching poop. I thought it would be a lot messier than it is, which is why I'm going to introduce you to something very cool. It is the biodegradable diaper liner. I don't see a lot of people talk about these because honestly poop isn't that big of an issue with cloth diapering without these, but if you want to avoid poop in general, these are life-changing. The internet Amazon, the reviews, and the description of this product says that it's biodegradable, which means it will not sit in a landfill. And what happens with this is obviously it looks like a dryer sheet. You put this over your kid's cloth diaper, the pee goes through it, and it catches solids. So when you're changing your kid's diaper, you just take the liner with the poop in it and you throw it away. Or the reviews and description actually says that this is flushable. I don't totally, I don't really trust that, and I don't want to screw up the problem blah, 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 blah. I don't want to screw up the plumbing on the house um, so I just throw these away like I would with a disposable diaper so diaper liners they're life-changing they're cheap and it comes in a huge roll like this and I've had this for I want to say like six months or so and I have not run out and I don't use these all the time when you're diapering a toddler you kind of realize that they get on a pooping schedule your toddler isn't like a newborn they don't poop all day long so they kind of just go once and so once your kid is pooped for the day you kind of don't have to use these liners anymore so that's another plus side of cloth diapering it is not as messy as you would think it is now as for poop without the liners it's not really all that difficult so when you're cloth diapering a newborn the internet says and I'm saying the internet says because I'm not an expert I didn't come up with these th theories or anything but the internet says that newborn poop when they are exclusively breastfed is actually water soluble so you can actually throw a diaper with newborn poop on it in a washing machine without scraping it off in a toilet or anything and it will just dissolve. So you do a rinse and spin before you do the actual wash. So you're not washing your diaper in poopy water and it's supposedly okay for your washing machine. 
So there's that. Or you can just use the diaper liners and not even worry about it. And when it comes to toddler poop or toddlers or babies that eat solid food, their poop is usually a lot more solid. And so you can kind of just open up the diaper and the poop falls right in the toilet and you flush it like you would anyone who just uses the toilet would. That is cloth diapering and poop. It's a lot easier than you would think it would be. So now that I've explained that cloth diapering isn't as gross as you would think it is, I'm gonna show you the diapers that I use. And like I said, I have only had experience with pocket diapers so I'm only gonna be showing you pocket diapers but in the description underneath this video I'm gonna link some cloth diaper goddesses and there are more informational videos and in-depth videos about the different types of diapers and different types of liners and so you don't only get my side and the diapers that work for me because something else might actually work better for you so we're gonna start small here and I'm gonna show you a newborn cloth diaper this is a newborn pocket diaper by the brand Alva baby Alva baby and Nora's nursery are two of the cheapest pocket diaper brands that I've been able to find, the pocket diaper brands that I personally own. So this is Alva Baby newborn cloth diapers. I do not recommend buying newborn cloth diapers. Just do the disposables or jump right into standard size adjustable cloth diapers. Because if you have a baby that grows really fast like mine did, once they hit about seven or nine pounds, these are completely useless. They don't fit anymore and it doesn't matter even if you adjust it to the highest setting, you can't use these anymore. And so now I have a couple newborn cloth diapers that I'm never gonna use again. So I might give these to Stella to use on a doll in the future or something because they're still in great shape. I might try to resell them because that's something you can do with cloth diapers on Facebook Marketplace or there are cloth diapering forums where people resell diapers, etc, etc. But these are useless to me, so just avoid newborn cloth diapers in my opinion. Okay, so now let me show you the diapers that I'm currently loving. These are from Nora's Nursery and this is them adjusted to a newborn size to fit my three month old. And this is them adjusted, the same diaper by the way, adjusted to fit my three year old who's about 30 pounds or so, probably under that, but she's obviously bigger than my three month old. So yes, they get to wear the same exact diapers just adjusted a little bit differently thanks to all of these little snaps. And this does look like it's a little bit confusing, but I swear you get used to it. When you're adjusting these diapers, you can adjust the length. So obviously my newborn's torso is shorter than my toddler's torso. And so you just snap these two buttons together to make it the smallest size, or you can make it a little bit bigger by snapping these two together. And then they also make an adjustable waist, which is very nice because newborns actually have pretty big bellies. Uh, my newborn actually wears a bigger size waist than my toddler does. So that makes it super easy to just adjust the top here to fit their belly or skinny toddlers. That is a really cool feature of cloth diapering, especially cloth diapering to kids. I would never be able to have the flexibility that I have with cloth diapers with disposable diapers. If I ran out of newborn size diapers, I couldn't have just put him in one of my toddler's diapers and vice versa. I couldn't have put my toddler in a newborn diaper if she ran out of her size diapers. So it's really cool having something adjustable. I never run out of these. If they're all dirty, God forbid, I just throw them in the wash and I have clean diapers again. And now I'm going to actually open this up and show you why this is a pocket diaper. So this just snaps open like this. It's super duper easy. The inside is this flannel material. It's very soft, very comfortable. I'm assuming I've never worn one, but it seems like it'd be very comfortable. And this is the pocket that makes it a pocket diaper. And pocket diapers, when you order them, usually come with one liner or two liners, and there's a bunch of different kinds of liners. These Nora's Nursery diapers come with one bamboo liner. It's also very soft, very absorbent. So this is the portion that you just stuff inside this pocket diaper. It's super easy and quick to do. One of the benefits of pocket diapers that I personally enjoy is you can stuff as many liners in this diaper as you need. So for my newborn, I may use only one bamboo liner. For my toddler, I might use two or maybe even three if I'm lining her diaper for a nap or bedtime. I think that's all I can really show you with the pocket diaper, but there are so many different kinds of diapers. These are just my own personal preference. They make all-in-one diapers that have liners that are sewn into the diaper. They make Velcro closed diapers that don't have all these adjustable snaps. They make diaper covers that you kind of just fold up yourself and then they have like little snaps that you have to adjust. That seems complicated to me, so I picked what I think is the simplest option. 
option and the option that I prefer and recommend. But like I said, I'll have all of the different videos linked down below of people going through every single type of diaper. I don't have that experience to share with you guys. So definitely research down below if you're looking to get into the diapers. Okay, so now we are gonna get into the care of cloth diapers. So like I said, I will normally put a disposable liner on here. This catches the solids. And so if this had poop in it, you take this, you throw it away, you flush it, whatever you feel comfortable with. As for this portion, the only messy part of cloth diapering is you do have to remove the liner that has pee on it before you throw it in the washing machine. Otherwise, it's not gonna get fully clean and it's not gonna be fully dried either. So when I have a diaper that has been peed on, I just pull out the liner real quick. I throw it in the center portion fold the diaper up like this. And then I always have one of these wet bags either hanging on door handles throughout the house on all of the bedrooms that the kids are in, as well as the laundry room door. And then sometimes if I'm going out with cloth diapers and I'm not using disposables, which sometimes I do, depending on how long we're gonna be out for, I throw a wet bag in my purse. It's super easy to put your dry diapers in the front compartment and then put your wet diapers in the center portion and it locks in any stink, pee, smells, leakage, stuff like that. So it sounds really gross, but I just carry a wet bag with me and you throw the diapers in here until you're ready to wash them. As for washing cloth diapers, I think depending on who you're watching and what their lifestyle is like, everyone kind of has a different routine. There are some super hippie crunchy moms who make their own laundry detergent and they only line dry their diapers and they don't use their dryer. Um, maybe they hand wash their diapers in a stream or something and that's the way they like to do it. Some people only leave their diapers out in the sun to dry. I like to do that in the summer, um, especially since the sun is a natural bleach and it avoids all staining. But in the winter, that's obviously not an option for me. So what I personally do is when I have a full wet bag of diapers, I throw them in the washing machine and I'll first run a rinse and spin. That's basically just when you have water and no detergent and it just literally does exactly what it says. It rinses and it spins. And then I do the regular wash cycle with regular Tide detergent. That is a strong enough detergent to get all of the pee molecules and stuff out of your diapers and really disinfect and clean. And then when you run your diapers through the dryer, you cannot use a fabric sheet or whatever it's called, a laundry sheet, a dryer sheet, because those can actually make your liners repel liquids, which means your diapers are not gonna be absorbent and the pee is going to find a way out of the diaper and you don't want that. So that's all I really have to say about washing cloth diapers because that is all there is to it when it comes to my personal cloth diapering washing routine. A lot of people are gonna be different and it really depends on a couple different factors on what works best for you. What kind of detergent do you wanna use? Uh, what kind of washer do you have? Is it front loading? Is it top loading? What kind of water hardness do you have? What kind of water softness do you have? And like I said, I'm gonna link some more informational videos down below. now. When it comes to the cost of cloth diapering, I believe I have saved so much money by doing this. And even with several packs of really cute cloth diapers that I probably didn't have to buy because I had plenty of diapers before, I think I have still spent way less money cloth diapering than I would if I did disposables for both kids. All right, so Stella actually just joined us in the room and I pulled out my laptop so I can give you the exact prices for the bundles of diapers that I like to purchase. Yeah, those are your diapers. Do you recognize those? That's the one you're wearing. Wow. Okay, I had to banish Stella from the room because this video is almost done and I do not want it to take me another week to finish it. So Alva baby diapers are the diapers that I started with and you can get six diapers for the cost of $30 if you buy their pack of solid colors, not the ones with the cute patterns. That is extremely affordable. I'm putting the prices on the screen with pictures of the diapers, hopefully. The Nora's nursery diapers, you can get a pack of seven diapers with one bamboo insert each. So so seven inserts and a wet bag included in that for $59, and that's in very cute patterns. I personally like the designs and patterns and colors of Nora's Nurseries better. All of the diapers that I've talked about in today's video, as well as the disposable liners, are going to be linked in the description underneath this video. And you may be wondering how many diapers you need to cloth diaper one kid or two kids. And I highly recommend, if you're still using disposables, to count how many disposables you go through in a day. And that'll give you a vague idea of, or actually a pretty good idea of how many diapers you're going to need throughout the day. You also have to consider that your kid has to wear a diaper while you're doing laundry. So think about how many diapers it's gonna take for them to get through a load of laundry if you're really down to the line when it comes to 
having as many diapers as you need, if that makes any sense. Something you definitely have to take into consideration before cloth diapering is how busy your lifestyle is, and that will really determine how many diapers you need as well. A stay-at-home mom who has all the time, uh, I shouldn't say all the time in the world, because if you're a stay-at-home mom, you know that we don't have all the time in the world to just do laundry all day long, but we do usually end up doing a ton of laundry anyway. So what I'm saying is if you're a stay-at-home mom and have access to a washing machine, then you may need less diapers than someone who is really on the go and works outside the house and lives a very active lifestyle where you can't do laundry every day. I think that I personally have about 30 cloth diapers for two kids, like I said, and I probably do laundry every day, maybe every other day. Usually every day just because I try to stay on top of it and I don't ever want to be in the situation where I have the kids in the bathtub while I'm doing laundry because we're out of diapers. And so I find that 30 is just enough for us. The upfront cost of buying 30 or more cloth diapers may seem like a lot and it may not seem like you're saving money right away but when you look at the price of a box of disposable diapers like I have pulled up on my laptop right now a box of 180 little snuggle little snugglers huggy diapers goes for $48 on Amazon and that is $48 that's going to be peed and pooped on and that you're never going to see again and you're going to replace over and over and over and over you can get a pack of six Alva baby diapers for about 30 bucks that you can use over and over and over possibly for multiple children and possibly even resell after you've used them and get some of your money back. But it's really up to you. This video wasn't meant to persuade anyone to cloth diaper. It's just me saying some of the benefits that I've found and the ways that I've found that it fits in with my lifestyle. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, found it a little bit informational. I'm going to have a ton more links and information in the description down below. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on any of my social media, my Instagram. My YouTube doesn't usually have comments, but I usually will post the thumbs thumbnail from each video with comments underneath it that we can comment on and chat on. And I might do a follow-up video if I have enough questions or things that I left out on accident. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.